Here is solution to question 19, which was asked in quiz 6.2. The question is, prove that if side BC of a triangle ABC is trisected by a point P and Q, then AB plus AC is equals to AP plus AQ. So let's try to sketch and then solve the question. So what we can do is, let's make a triangle here. This, this is a triangle and we are saying prove that the side if side BC is trisected right so the triangle is let's say ABC and BC is trisected that means we have two points here and these two points are P and Q so prove that if the side BC of a triangle ABC is trisected by the points P and Q then we need to prove that AB plus AC is equals to AP plus AQ. This is what we need to prove. So AB is this side, AC is the other side of the triangle, AP is from here to one point which is trisecting and AQ is the other one. So let me just join this AQ. So these are our sides correct now a b is like this right a c is this and we are saying a p okay a p and a q correct so this is the diagram which represents the situation now what we can do is we can write what a p plus a q is and then see if we can get the result so let's start with the right side and say a p plus AQ is equal to what? So AP can be written as AB plus BP, right? So let me write this AP as AB plus BP. So this is how I'm expanding AP, right? And now what is AQ? Now AQ can be written as AC plus CQ plus CQ correct so AC plus CQ now you will observe that this is trisected and all these sides are equal correct since it has been trisected now we have BP and CQ BP is like this direction and CQ is that direction their magnitude is same and they are directly opposite vectors correct so when you add these two they should cancel out so we will use that strategy so we have AP and we'll combine these two plus AC plus BP and CQ since it is opposite vector we could write this as minus BP right CQ can be written as minus BP right? and therefore we get AB plus AC on this side and this is what we wanted to prove and therefore we have proved that AB plus AC is equals to AP plus AQ. Okay? So that is the proof for the question. Thanks.